Hey guys, Tim here, aka VSCustomSoulCrawl.com. Now, I haven't been out uh, RCing too much lately, been a little busy, you know, Christmas is coming up. It's uh, actually in a couple days now, so I wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a video between now and New Year's. If I can, I can. If I can't, well, Happy New Year's to everybody out there. Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I've been working away on a couple things, nothing of my own really. Waiting for parts mainly to come in. I know I got some last time. I, I needed some more stuff to come in and, and hopefully now I can start moving forward a little more. Um, start planning out my link lengths on or link lengths on my Mozilla rig, and um, yeah, so I got so much going on right now. Life is busy, I tell you, busy, busy around this holiday season. Uh, that being said, I got some new parts in, and I actually painted up a CRX for a, a I guess a customer, a friend. Um, he wanted me to do a paint job for him, and uh, it actually turned out pretty slick. So. Let's talk about some parts and some painting. As far as parts go, of course, some more stuff for the D4. Obviously, three racing stuff. I got the uh, the steering link setup going on, the aluminum steering link, and these will be the uh, rear side uh, suspension mounts. I had the front ones already in there. I needed a set of rears. Uh, they did not have the uh, zeros in stock. I grabbed a 0.5 degree. It's not going to be anything crazy. It shouldn't make any difference anyways. It should be pretty on par. Now the stuff for the Mazilla that's sitting right there. I'm going to give one of these a try. This is the SSD high ratio transmission for the Wraith. They have all steel gears in them. They do take some parts off the Wraith. So I'll be looking at upgrading obviously all the other pieces that I need to get for it. Uh, that's why everything takes so long. Um, I'm just, I'm making everything from base. I don't have a kit that I'm starting out with. So it's pretty much build as I go and figure out what I need as I go. That being said, and running those nice GCM metal heads in there, I know I needed some Wraith knuckles. So I got the new clamping style. These are the new Vanquish clamping style. So you can put the screws in the side and then you can also put a bolt through there. They hold a little tighter. I went with the older um, knuckles because I actually like this red. I think it's a nice little slick color. I know it doesn't look perfect when it's scale, but I thought it had it a little bit of flash, look kind of slick with all the black in there. Now I made a mistake when I ordered my stuff. I only ordered a pair of these uh, shock mounts, so definitely after the holidays when shipping gets a little quicker, I will order another set, have them sent over and be mounting those up. That way I can get those nice king shocks and all the axles mounted up. And I can start figuring out uh, link lengths. Right now I have no links. I think I'm going to get a set of, um, not even stainless steel. I'm going to go with some just straight steel. I want to actually have them rust up a little bit. Now I'm not going to ruin the, the cage. I'm not going to get it all rusty. I want it to stay nice, but I want a little bit of that uh, that rust on the links. I have some plans for the, the paint on the body that I think uh, will turn out pretty good. I, I have to see if I can get all the, the decals that I want for it. If not, I'll have to get some made up. But other than that... We've got some big plants coming down the road for that one. Of course, nothing's gone on with the Ford. It's still sitting back there. Just time, time, time. When you have a, a guy who says, hey, paint me up a CRX. I really like that one you did. I want the first gen. I'm like, sweet. So, get my hands on the, the, the hood pops off here, but I get my hands on the Mugen CRX. See if I can pull it up so you can see it. I know it's black. This actually has the Mugen flare kit all on it. So you have to cut the bumpers off. Obviously cut out the hole in the bumper there. Cut the wing and everything on the back. Now what I do to use those tail light decals is I actually still mask them off. As you can see there, I mask them off on the inside. That way when you run your lights, they still have that actual proper look to them. Because sometimes I find if you paint them orange, you can see the... the the LED in there, you can see all that. It just doesn't look proper. Where at least with the stickers on there, it looks proper. And uh, you put your lights on and away you go. Now I haven't decided if I want to put the, the hood on yet because I'm actually doing a, a different setup with the headlights. Now this is the, the what is it, 86, 87 style headlights. I'm actually going to put the 84, 85 headlights behind there. And then the beam behind that, and these will actually act like a little race screen, so it'll look like it's something that's actually about to hit the track. Now this is the hood, the Mugen hood for it. He uh, he's talking about this being a shelf queen, so we might just sit that on there. That way you can pop it on and off, and pretty much that's it. 
Um, I don't know if I can get in and you can see the paint. It's kind of hard. This is actually a mixed paint. I know it looks like dust particles on there, but it's not. Up close, it's uh, a metallic black. It turned out pretty sweet. I'm liking it. It's a mixture, see if I can get the paint here while I reach, um, of again that uh, that fast chrome and just fast black. I, I, I mixed the two together. I didn't want a crazy, crazy sparkle to it, but I wanted something that looked like the factory black. Of course, I have all around the uh, the windows painted with that flat black. I Again, I cut it, masked, uh, cut the plastic off. Sorry, tripping over my words here. I cut the plastic off around the windows, painted it black, peeled all the, all the plastic to protect the film off the body, and away you go. Anything else? That's about it. I got, I got the power plant I picked up. Um, it's kind of like the only used piece I picked up. It was a Tekken Pro 4 4000 KV. I think between this and that high gear ratio transmission, this, this sucker's going to move, so I might actually have to gear it down inside the diffs and, and run the uh, just underdrive gears in the front and the rear. That way it, it might slow it down just a little bit. Uh, other than that, I don't think I got anything else. I mean, I picked everything up, of course, on RC Mart. Great place. Always having stuff in stock. And that's about it. So, that's it for today. Like always, like, subscribe, and share. Uh, definitely check me out on Instagram under VS underscore customs. And don't forget to check out the Radio Control Network on Facebook. Um, as I said before, there's a bunch of us. There's Harley. There's, uh, what is it, Urban RCLA, uh, RC Militia, um, Hemi Storm. There's just a bunch of guys on there. Uh, obviously, we're all working together trying to grow this hobby, whether it's uh, planes, drag RCs, uh, boats, you name it. Ever, somebody out there is doing it. And they're probably part of our group. We've got about 30 of us strong. We're still growing. So if you'd like to join us, definitely uh, in the bio, there's a link there. You can uh, fill out the application, try it out, see if you can, uh, or see if they accept you. I mean, I got no part in that. That's all of them for sure. But uh, yeah, other than that, have a good day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Cheers.